everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Erin and we are starting off my 13 days of Halloween videos today now I have some kind of exciting stuff coming up over the next 13 days so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified when I post my videos I'll be posting one every day for the next 13 days for the 13 days of Halloween now I say I'll be posting one every day <laughs> But there will be one day where I will post two videos. One has nothing to do with the 13 days of Halloween. Anyway, like I said, I have some exciting stuff coming up. There are a couple different, I guess you could call them investigations, my boyfriend and I went on before he left for work for a little while. So those will be in the 13 days of Halloween. I have some other paranormal stuff. Excuse the snore, that's Dixie. She's having a good nap I guess. Also I was a little bit crazy and I ordered a haunted doll off of eBay so we're gonna see what she's all about. She should be here this week so I'll be doing a video on her as well for these 13 days. Yeah so like I said make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I upload the videos each day. So I figured I'd start things off for our 13 days of Halloween by talking about the Gray Man of Hatteras. Now, it's pretty apropos to be talking about him because actually later this evening, the remnants of Tropical Storm Nestor are supposed to come through this area and you'll find out what the Gray Man may or may not have to do with that. As you may or may not know, I live on the coast of North Carolina. Not directly on the beach, but we're pretty darn close. And there's one thing that comes along with living on the coast of North Carolina, and that is hurricanes. Now, if you look at the shape of North Carolina, I'll pop a picture in here, you'll see that the coast kind of has a cutout curve in it. The shape actually has to do with how the hurricanes either come up the coast and turn out, or they come directly into the coast and turn out. So that's kind of why the shape of that area of the United States kind of goes like that. It's shaped due to hurricanes that have been coming here for, I guess, thousands and thousands of years. One place that tends to get slammed by hurricanes because of where it's located in North Carolina is Hatteras Island. Now, you may have heard of Hatteras Island, there's the lighthouse, it's nice. But yeah, that's one part of the state that tends to really get slammed with hurricanes. The last hurricane that it got hit with would be Hurricane Dorian, which I'm sure that a lot of people outside of the state or even in the different part of this state haven't heard a lot about it. But Dorian did some pretty extensive damage to that area with flooding, especially not Hatteras itself, but Ocracoke which is an island as well, like you can only get there by ferry and there are people who live there. Obviously hurricanes can have pretty darn devastating effects. Now Cape Hatteras seems to have someone from beyond who comes to warn them when a hurricane or a very bad storm is about to slam into that area. He is known as the Gray Man. Now. I'm sure some of you watching this are probably from South Carolina or have visited South Carolina. The Gray Man is also noted to be seen in Pawleys Island in South Carolina, which they are also frequently hit with hurricanes. Maybe he's in two places at once, who knows. Now what the Gray Man is, is he's an indistinct shadowy figure. He can be seen walking the beaches as storms begin to approach the area. This is how locals know when a storm is gonna be bad, is when they start hearing about Gray Man sightings. And they also know that the storm is sure to be dangerous because he doesn't show up for storms that aren't going to be very devastating to the area. When people see the Gray Man, he never speaks. Now, that could be because no one's ever gotten close enough to him in order to try to carry on a conversation with him. If anyone tries to approach him as they see him wandering on the beach, he seems to fade into nothingness as they begin to approach. Or if it's already stormy, it seems like he almost disappears into the storm. So who is this gray man? Some say that the gray man is the ghost of a sailor who died in a hurricane while at sea. Now that's a pretty good possibility because the waters that are located off the coast of North Carolina are known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. And if you want to see why, 
I'll pop in this picture here to show you all of the shipwrecks that are up and down our coast. They say that his whole reasoning for coming back and warning people about devastating storms is just that, because he died in one. Now there are others who think of the Gray Man as actually being a part of the hurricane itself, which I think is a pretty interesting aspect on things. They think of him as more of a spirit than a ghost, which I know some people don't discriminate between the two, but kind of understanding that he is part of the storm rather than being a soul left over from someone who has passed on. Now, there have been many Gray Man sightings. Now, like I said, the Gray Man sightings start before a devastating storm is bound to hit the area that you're living in. Now, there were many Gray Man sightings before Hurricane Florence hit last year. There were people tweeting about it. There is even a video, supposedly, of the Gray Man, which I will show you in just a few minutes. Now, when I was doing my research for this story, I came across a tweet that was on Southern Living's website in an article they had written about the Gray Man. But when I went back to Twitter to try to find this actual tweet, either the person has made their Twitter very hard to find, or it doesn't exist anymore. I'm assuming that it did exist, but now it doesn't. But I just wanted to read you the tweet it's from a person named Ryan Fontaine, and this tweet was written shortly before Hurricane Florence hit in 2018. And this was someone who was in South Carolina, not North Carolina. So this would have been a sighting on Pauly's Island. It says, one of my regulars said he and a group of five people walking the beach said they saw the gray man on Pauly's yesterday. Time to start packing my bags and head in inland, y'all. Now, he is not the only one who has tweeted about the Gray Man. There was someone else named Sierra who had tweeted, Oh lordy, it's getting real now. I just read that there was a sighting of the Gray Man at Pauly's Island yesterday. South Carolina better get ready because he doesn't appear for nothing. So there are a decent amount of sightings that you can hear about on Twitter. I didn't find any specifically on Twitter geared toward Hatteras itself just toward the gray man. There is also this photo here that psychic Chip Coffee had tweeted about. This is a picture that a couple took on a pier in Pauly's Island, South Carolina, that supposedly shows the gray man. But gearing back to the gray man of North Carolina, there was a pretty interesting video that surfaced from the CC TV on the Avalon Pier in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I am going to show you the video here. If you watch the video, you can clearly see what looks like, well, a gray man at the end walking along the pier. And this video was taken right before Hurricane Florence was going to hit. You can hear the wind in the video. It's about when the storm was going to start bearing down on the area. So I think that's the most compelling evidence for the gray man. Now, if you happen to spot the gray man, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, if you spot the gray man yourself, it's actually good luck. It's said that if you're the person who views the gray man, that you and your property will be spared from any harm from the impending storm. So, in essence, you want to see the gray man before a hurricane hits with your own two eyes. And of course, if you don't spot him with your own two eyes, you better get ready for a bad storm because that's the only time he shows up is when there's an impending, dangerous, and damaging storm. So what do you guys think of the Gray Man? I think it's a very interesting tale. I think it makes sense that it could be a sailor who passed away in a hurricane at sea. Like I said, that area of the sea is known as the Graveyard of the Atlantic and there's a reason why it's called the Graveyard of the Atlantic. I think it's also interesting that he is typically only seen before really bad storms are about to hit. I haven't heard of any Gray Man sightings before this 
tropical storm is supposed to hit this evening so I think we might be in good shape for that but we shall see but that's it for this video guys if you liked it please give me a big old thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video for the 13 days of Halloween bye